How are you doing guys? Welcome to our Bangkok production facility. What you can see here behind me is three fully functioning, fully operational plastic waste to fuel production units. This machine here is actually our latest, our newest machine. We just finished installing it in December and last month in January we were able to complete the initial test runs with some amazing results. Now, let me take you on a small tour just to show you guys around on what happens in this facility on a day-to-day -day basis. Welcome. The process begins with the raw material. What we use here at the facility is your standard household plastic garbage, your plastic bags, your wrapping materials and your packaging products. They get delivered for us to the facility. We prefer them to be as dry and as clean as possible. But as you can see, for example, here, it can be also very dirty. What we do is we take this raw material and we load it into the chamber of the machine. Now let's go take a look a little more closer. The plastic waste gets loaded into the machine through this hatch at the end of the chamber. Once the chamber has been loaded, we start to apply heat to the plastic. We do not burn the plastic. There is no flame at any point touching the plastic itself. We're simply applying heat to the plastic. What happens when we apply heat is that the plastic starts to convert into two elements, gases and smoke. Now, the gases get channeled back into the process where we can use those gases to create more heat to the system itself. In that way, the system is actually fueling itself while we run the process. The smoke now gets channeled through our distillation system and then finally convert it into the liquid form. Let's go take a look a little bit closer. This way, guys. Now, what happens with the distillation system is that we create two types of oil products. We have a light oil, which is very similar in character to gasoline. And we have something called the heavy oil, which is more similar in character to diesel. What you can see here at the very end of the process is oil now flowing out from the machine, which is currently running. This oil can later on be refined to become your normal commercial gasoline or diesel or kerosene jet fuel for the airplanes. What we here at Corsair are primarily focused at the moment is to use this oil as a raw material to manufacturing new plastic products. And by doing so, reducing the amount of new oil that needs to be pumped out inside the ground to produce your normal household plastic products. So what we are really focusing is to recycle the old plastic bags to become the raw material to make new plastic bags. But we also supply some of this oil to the fuel industry to be made your gasoline, diesel and airplane fuel. At the moment, we are running this facility with three production units. But we are already preparing the site to include two more production units, bringing this facility to a total of five machines. At the same time, we have also acquired, purchased the following land right next to us, which now gives us an additional space of approximately 3,200 square meters. This space here 
will become our extended part of our facility where we are going to be building a beautiful new warehouse that will house an additional five machines, bringing the entire complex to a total number of 10 production units. Now, I have something very, very important, very interesting and very positive to share with you today as well. Due to some extensive research and development work by our, our daily production team, we've been able to take major steps forward with the conversion rate of our process. The conversion rate refers to the amount of oil that we can generate from 1,000 kilos of plastic waste. In all of our calculations and our presentations, we've always talked about 50% conversion rate, meaning that from 1,000 kilos, we are able to generate approximately 500 liters of pyrolysis oil. But as I said, due to some very extensive development work, we've been now able to increase that conversion rate from the standard of 50% to a new average of approximately 75% and in some cases even as high as 95%. This means that from 1,000 kilos of plastic waste, we are currently in average generating approximately 750 liters of oil. And during last month in January, we had several locations, several cycles, where we were able to generate from 1,000 kilos as much as 950 liters of oil. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what it's all about. Taking your normal average household waste, your, your, your plastic bags, your wrapping materials, your packaging products, which would normally end up in the landfill or in the worst case scenario into the oceans, we're taking all that garbage and we're converting it into something good and something useful. That is what we are all about. Thank you. Okay guys, one more thing before we move forward on our tour today. I know that some of you have been asking about how is it possible that we've been able to do so much progress, so much work, so much development in such a short period of time. And many of you have actually asked me, do I ever sleep? Because, well, you see the bags under my eyes, but also I'm always online, I'm always replying, I'm always working with you guys. And uh, I got something to share with you today. This is something that very, very few people have known about, and I want to share this little secret with you today. Actually, here at Corsair, I am not the only CEO of the company. We actually have another CEO as well. And I would like to introduce you to my twin brother, Jay. Could you, could you come over here? Great, thank you. So guys, how are you doing guys? Jay and I, we work together. I do the night shift, he does the day shift. And because of the fact that we're now starting to expand from Thailand also to Europe, we've decided that we're going to split the work so that I'll stay here in Thailand and Jay is going to be there with many of you guys in Europe. So would you like to say a few words? Yes, absolutely. Now, please allow me to take you guys to our other facility here in Bangkok where we have two more production units which are going to be transported from Bangkok to our first European location located in Slovenia. Great, thank you very much. All right, guys, welcome to our second production facility here in Bangkok, Thailand. What you can see behind me are two production units that have been operational already in this facility for the last two years. In December, Corsair Group acquired these machines and what we are going to do is we're going to take both of the machines, all the accessories, all the tools, all the machinery 
from this facility. We're going to pack them into shipping containers and we're going to send all of them to Europe to launch our first European project in the beautiful country of Slovenia. Now please follow me, let me show you a couple interesting things. Now, these two machines are able together to produce approximately 150,000 liters of oil per month. And what you can see here is a quite interesting feature. In this machine, the additional machinery that has been attached to it is something that allows the machine to be operated more continuously than a typical batch system would be. We are going to be using this similar function also in the other machine and we're looking right now into ways of having this same concept included into our other machines located here in Bangkok as well. This additional feature allows us to, to feed in raw material while the machine is operating without having to, to close down the machine, cool it down and then again warm it up for the next cycle. This will make the machine even more efficient than without having this feature. So these are some of the interesting things that we are continuously looking to improve our process and what we mentioned to you before about this new improved increased conversion rate is largely due for us continuously looking for ways to improve our process. So ladies and gentlemen, these two machines here will be making a trip to Europe and they will be launching our operations in Europe, which we are targeting now to take place within the month of June. So very exciting things to happen. We're very happy that you are all part of us in this mission, working together with us and being involved in this great, great journey. So I want to thank you all very much. Please stay tuned, follow us on social media and through our, our websites and be in touch with the person who introduced you to the Amplivo concept. Talk to you again soon. Thank you very much. Bye.